ankles, so I have another Kill Star video <laughs> for you. I'm not gonna lie to you, I just have a pile of stuff <laughs> that I have purchased over the last like month, which I have been meaning to make videos of. Um, but one thing that has really stood out for me that I've bought recently from Killstar is this belt. Now, usually I'm very much a <laughs> I stick to what I know kind of a buyer. Um, I love my Killstar dresses. Um, I have so many of their dresses. The one time I tried to buy a skirt went horrendously. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have loads and loads of their dresses, but I don't really venture too far out of that. I guess the only kind of accessories I have, um, is my handbag, my suitcase. Um, I do have a pair of sunglasses, um, and I actually, I'm looking over there and I can see that I have a hat. So maybe I do have quite a few accessories. Um, but definitely something I haven't bought from Killstar before is a belt. Now, the whole reason why I was in the belt section is I did order this dress from Killstar. Um, which I will have a separate kind of haul for. So I ordered this dress from Killstar. Now in the, the picture, which I thought was very, very naughty of them, they did have this dress modelled with a belt. It was a very small little, it was very small, almost, I think it was like a single lined studded belt. I did watch Simply Spooky's video on this um, before ordering it and I kind of did see that it didn't come with the belt. Um, and then obviously if you read the small print in, on the website, it does actually tell you. So I went to the website because I thought like, oh, I just kind of want the whole outfit the kind of look of this dress with the belt is what had sold me to it um so i looked at their belt that came with this dress um and the belt was 10 pounds just for a very small like singular stud belt now it has been a very long time since i've bought a studded belt um but i was pretty sure that i could get something very similar off of ebay or etsy um for kind of half the price so I will come back to that dress in a different video, but first I'm gonna talk about this belt because this belt did pop up in the belt section and I loved it. For a second I thought I could put this belt around this dress, but I think maybe it would have just been a little bit too many chains going on. Um, so I kind of saw this belt at the time and thought it looked really nice, um, but I wasn't really sure what I could put it with. And then the lovely heavy metal mama did some kind of like a lookbook or a haul or something and she was kind of wearing this this belt just to kind of jazz up her outfit and when I saw it I thought oh my goodness that works so well. And I was then kind of like I really need this so I went over to Killstar's website and of course I had left it too long and it was out of stock so I did sign up for the emails just so um, they do have a thing at the bottom if it is out of stock you can sign up with your email and it will let you know when it comes back in stock. So as soon as this came back in stock, I did purchase it. I believe it was around £22, which uh, I don't I don't buy belts very often. I'm not sure how expensive that is. Um, but it kind of had so many elements to it. I, I figured it would probably be worth the price. Um, I did actually see this afterwards go into the sale for Easter and it was only £18 so I was kind of kicking myself a little bit for not waiting um, but at the time I was like if it sold out so quickly last time it's going to sell out again um, but yeah I'm really really pleased with it. And I have to say upon receiving it I was like I love this belt but I have no idea what to wear with it um, and that's kind of why I decided to kind of devote this whole video to the belt because potentially some of you will be experiencing the same thing at first i received it and as someone who is very much a lazy dresser i like to buy kind of dresses like this where everything's kind of incorporated and sewn together um i like to kind of just chuck stuff on the only kind of accessorizing i tend to do is with my jewelry um wearing belts with things is not something that I have done for a really long time and definitely recently I've really been wanting to think a little bit more about how I can use my accessories to kind of spice up an outfit a little bit. So what I will do is I will kind of go through this dress dress so what I'll do is I'll go through this belt in slightly more detail and then I will also include a kind of lookbook as such of like various different outfits that I have paired this belt with specifically and kind of how I've incorporated it into my wardrobe and I just I feel like this this belt has the ability to make any kind of boring old dress look amazing so this belt is relatively heavy it's definitely on the heavier side 
and it's also very jingly jangly it is quite a kind of beastie belt definitely kind of thicker and more heavier than the belts which i have had in the past but i do think kind of all these different elements and kind of layers to it is definitely what sort of sold me on the belt so the kind of official name for this belt is called the curses chain belt um which i assume is due to the uh chains which are coming off from the picture like when you originally look online um you just kind of see it round a lady i wasn't really sure what the deal was on this dress the chains sort of loop all the way around and it kind of just came with like a chain that just like a whole chain that goes all the way around um so again i wasn't too sure if somehow they were going to link the chains if this was going to be like an over the head kind of dealio once you kind of scroll through you are able to see that there are only kind of three loops of chain as such um but the way obviously it would sit sit very differently depending on what size your waist was um but the way that this sits on me these two pentagrams sit on either side of my hip so when you're looking at me kind of front on you do see just chain if that makes sense so i'm just going to read you the specification as i said this uh actually it costs 23 pounds um and it's around four pound if you're wanting to do the lay by system okay it says that it's made out of a kind of pleather so a fake leather um it has a double layer design contrasting hardware high waisted um so this is definitely like a kind of in the middle kind of cinching in kind of belt rather than one that would go around your hips although i'm sure this probably would fit around some people's hips it is 104 centimeters in length which equates to 41 inches and they only sell it in one size which i think is a little bit of a downfall um so it says add some instant drama to your daily rituals definitely agree with that um it does just kind of spice up everything it has a high-waisted fit and they suggest that you wear it with bodycon dresses so actually if you do scroll up to the lady who's wearing this belt she is wearing a bodycon dress i have found this looks really nice with all kind of dresses but definitely with skater style dresses i feel like it's really nice at kind of nipping you in at the waist so let's talk about sizing i am a kind of uk 12 to 14 veering closer to the 14 i'm not too sure why i still say 12 but i'm gonna hang on to that um and i always buy a size large from killstar um sometimes i do feel like i would have benefited from buying an extra large however sometimes i have bought an extra large and they've just been too big so i definitely would say that i am consistently a size large when it comes to dresses and jumpers in bottoms however uh, <laughs> i'm probably a size 3xl um because i bought one skirt in a size large and it was so so small that i just refused to go back and try again um so they do only do this in one size as i said i am a size large now i have based this purchase off of heavy metal bummer who i believe is a size extra small to small and it fits her really nicely so i'd say as long as you're ranging between extra small to large you should be able to fit in this belt <laughs> as such i would say the majority of their belts probably wouldn't fit me um because they are slightly smaller they're kind of around i think it was around 90 centimeters which kind of equates to around a size medium so this is definitely the only one of their belts other than stretchy belts which i feel like i will probably be purchasing but saying that they do have the measurements on there so you can kind of have a sort of gauge of what size these are going to be but again another thing which i thought was rather naughty of them is they did state that this is 104 centimeters in length um or 41 inches so i measured around my waist and i believe it was between 36 and 38 inches so i was like yo that's gonna fit fine i've got a good like two three inches going on there it will be absolutely fine the thing that i didn't consider is the fact that the uh holes don't go all the way to the end so the kind of measurement that they're giving you is actually from the very tip of this to the very end of that which obviously once you've done it up uh <laughs> you're gonna lose quite a lot of that length um you're losing kind of that there and also that there as well um so in fact this is quite a few inches smaller um than you would be led to believe i would say that this would probably fit a 36 to 38 inch waist maximum um for me it does do up um granted i do have to use the very last hole as you can probably see there is a lot of options for our smaller ladies but those of us who are around a size 12 size 14 i have had to have used this final the final spot there is space for me to punch another one here if needed um but honestly like 
<laughs> I don't want to admit defeat. Um, this does fit around me as well. It is like ever so slightly tight. The reason though which I quite like it is it gives me almost like a corseted feel in the fact that it, it keeps my back straight. It stops me from slumping. It's only when I slump does this start to feel very very tight. Um, other than that it just generally feels comfortable. Standing up, walking around, it, it sits very nicely. It's only kind of when I'm sitting down, slunch, slump, slap sl sl slouching slouching um that this begins to kind of dig in so definitely i'd say the sizing is a little bit naughty i would definitely say to err on the side of caution when it comes to the sizing of this because for a size 12 14 this is slightly on the tight side i'd say if you usually buy kind of on the larger size of a size large or xl upwards just to avoid this because i don't think it will fit i'm sure there are options to get like extenders in belts um but that's just going to be more money <laughs> um and more effort um so that's the sizing i do feel like maybe in the future killstar should think maybe about having some different sizing options maybe a plus size version of this but recently i do have to kind of give them credit where credit is due they have bought out loads and loads of um plus size dress versions of their current dresses um lots of kind of plus size options which are really nice um so maybe accessories are on their way so the kind of main decoration of this belt is going on at the front the back of it does just kind of have like a plain belt look now i now i do wear the buckle at the back i'm not sure really if you would wear it at the front ever um but yeah i do wear the buckle at the back the buckle is very simple it's very kind of hard wearing it's a proper kind of metal buckle um and there are these two little belt slides um to slide the belt under just to stop it from flicking up for me as you can see on the last hole it does just reach the second one um but i'm not sure how handy oh no it does move i take that back i was gonna say i'm not sure how handy it would be um if you needed to put it on a smaller setting but it, this does slide so that is good it does mean that you can always make sure that it is kind of covered and not going to be flicking up and being annoying so the main decoration is on the front it is a double layered belt so there is this kind of layer in the kind of front of it which is like a silver kind of cone stud so that does run across half of the belt and there are these four pentagrams now these are inverted and for some reason i had a massive blonde moment when i wore these so it's like oh it doesn't matter i can just flip them over and they'll be the correct way up but no um, obviously that's not going to work. I do try and stay away from inverted pentagrams um, but I'm not so like superstitious that I would not wear this because of it if that makes sense. Um, so it has these four very big large metal pentagrams. I'd say they're probably around five or six um, centimeters in diameter. They are very big um, and they are solid metal. They're also like a cold metal as well. Um, I have before very very many years ago before i kind of had my killstar strike um i bought a necklace from killstar which actually was plastic painted silver um and then for a good year i didn't buy killstar because i was so put off by that um but definitely i can see the quality of this is completely kind of the other end of the spectrum um the metal feels very hardy they are kind of attached by these two little loops which are actually screwed into the belt itself so those are definitely not going anywhere um, and then the pentagrams kind of stuck that way i think they've put two just to kind of keep it inverted although i guess if they had but one maybe it would have given it like a and kind of nice option um, and then the chains themselves are coming off from the bottom of each pentagram to the next one um, and then this is the end one so it kind of doesn't have one on that side but the chains just link them all together now i have to say this is a really nice quality belt definitely i'd say like bar the whole kind of sizing issue i really really like this and there was kind of no elements to it that i would change other than the fact that they could kind of introduce a larger option um it is a very heavy belt you can definitely tell when you're wearing it um but definitely i just i have to thank heavy metal mama so much for kind of showing this off with different dresses and kind of giving me a few ideas of how i could incorporate it into my own wardrobe so yeah i'm really really excited to show you some of the outfits that i've come up with kind of incorporating this belt and i'm sure you'll probably see it cropping up in various other outfits in the future <laughs>
very much for watching i will try and leave as many links as i can down below um regarding the outfits i was wearing and where i got each of the pieces um and i will also leave a direct link to this belt which is of course the kind of star of the show here so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's sunny where you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time